What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another quick episode. Just had to scheme with y'all real quick. We're talking about these. This is the 4680, just a replica of it. Uh, Tesla's new battery cell. What is up with this? So I recently have been uh, putting in my videos that I thought the 4680 commercialization Tesla's new battery cell was delayed um, because they recently delayed the delivery of the Plaid Plus Model S, which I was assuming would have the new 4680s from uh, late 2021 to mid 2022. They also hiked the price $10,000. I'm like, okay, this is a big deal because we're delaying our key battery technology. That is the key for our my truck, our cyber truck, our Model Y Berlin. And then I'm like, wait, okay, Model Y Berlin, what is actually happening right now with the 4680? I don't think it's that it's been a problem commercializing it to get into a car, but I think it's going to take them longer to help Berlin ramp up and build the battery factory in Berlin. And that's actually what's going on. If you think about battery investor day, uh, when I was in San Francisco, just, you know, what was it? Three, four, five, six months ago, actually at this point now, like six months ago, they were already pumping out tons and tons of batteries. So my original theory was like, wait, they haven't actually figured out how to make the correct battery yet. That's why they're still doing it. That's why they're still delayed. But I'm like, no, I think they have actually figured out how to make the 4680 and how to make it work. But the reason why it's not going to the Plaid Plus Model X yet is because it's getting shipped to Berlin. They literally have to put this thing on a boat to Berlin. So there's boats to Berlin with that are just piles of 4680s and then they have to get into the Berlin factory all the way from the coast um, to actually go into production. So, and, and there's a bunch of other rumors right now that we saw the, uh, it looks like there's rumors about a battery factory heating up in Berlin. And so we know Tesla wants to localize production. So their goal is going to be, and they've already even said on the conference call, they're going to help start um, get Berlin off the ground with Fremont. So my new theory is, I don't know exactly why they're choosing Berlin to be the first spot. Maybe it's because they want to start with the ground up with this new, uh, you know, Celta structure formula. And we also have this Elon tweet to read in between the lines on Giga Berlin Brandenburg will be the first to use our new structural pack architecture 4680 world's most advanced cell made on site both rear and body castings and advanced paint shop warning with so much new technology production timing is naturally harder to predict. So now I've shifted the focus from the Plaid Plus Model S as being the first 4680 car to this Model Y in Berlin, which I probably should have already done, but I've just been thinking more and more about what is going on with the back end of the supply chain. Why did Zach Kirkhorn on the conference call mention some sort of one-time or near-term costs as they're ramping up these products? Because I literally think there's so many batteries flying out of Cato Road. They're literally like a machine gun of these batteries flying out and they're just putting them on uh, boats and or whatever to get to Berlin to help aid that get off the ground. It looks like you know, potentially mid 2021, late 2020, like we could be months away from the first delivery of a car with the 4680 cells. There's also other rumors saying in Fremont, they were already building Model Ys with the cell, the structure pack with the 4680s to get ready for Berlin. There's also a bunch of costs with relocating employees to Berlin, training employees um, in Berlin on how to build the same line they have on Cato Road. So anyway, th just a little quick scheme sesh for y'all. I'm gonna shout out my new studio, but I was just scheming too, we're just scheming too fast here. And the bottom line is, I think Tesla 4680 is working. It's actually in a vehicle, it is moving along, uh, much faster than I thought. I don't think there is as much of a delay. And But the delay in the US thing is because they have to get it off the ground in Germany first. If you have any schemes, rumors, or anything about um, what's going on with the 4680, when that first car will be delivered with a 4680 battery cell, I'm just nerding out about that. It's really not that important if you own that car or not. It's not gonna change much from a customer perspective. But from a Tesla technology perspective, to do that one step further vertical integration where they build their own batteries, they've commercialized this game-changing tabless design that is gonna to totally transform the industry, that's gonna unlock a better performance electric vehicle. I think this is a really key part of the Tesla thesis, and especially when you think about expanding production to tens of millions of cars per year. They're already talking about rumors about LG, um, Tesla's battery supplier beginning production of the 4680, same with Panasonic. That wasn't making sense to me, because I was like, well, if Tesla can't figure it out, how are they gonna tell Panasonic how to figure it out? Well, it looks like they have figured it out, um, but they're just figuring out and sending it to Berlin. So anyway, if you can find the ship with batteries on it, let me know. This is hyper change, just scheming. I could be wrong. See y'all next time. Peace.